Good day everyone. Today's video, I'm going to be um, doing a video on two, two singles bet strategy, which is um, all in the top line. If, if you look back in my earlier videos, <clears throat> there's one video where I, I explained that you should try and keep your bets in the top row, in the top line. I don't know if you guys can remember that video. And I gave a clue on how to, to do that. But nobody ever came back and um, said that they tried it or made a, made a um, strategy from that. Um, so this is what that video is going to be about, about betting on the top row. So in other words, we're going to be playing singles. So this video is called a Two Single Bet Selection. Okay. Now the Two Single Hand Bet Selection. Sorry. Now Two Single Hand Bet Selection. And I'll show you how we do this. And the money management... Um, we'll be using um, the delayed the Allen boot. Okay, so it'll be one one two two three three four four five five. You can go up to six six seven seven, but I find that by the time you get to five, that's when you should be thinking of stopping. Okay, what I normally do is if I get to five, the second five. And I lose that second five. What I do is I'll try one more time, and I'll go, I'll go down to halfway in, in the level, and go to the first three, and then start working my way back up again. Sometimes, if you if you win the first couple of hands, then you got a chance of getting back. But other than that, it's time to quit. Okay. So I gave tips on how to. Um, I can't remember which video it was. It was one of my early videos where I told people that they could um, make their own strategy just using the top line. Well, this is it. So I'm eventually going to show you. And funny enough, this has turned out to be my favorite strategy. Um, I wouldn't say it's the absolute best out of all the strategies that I've posted, but it is one of my favorites, you know, I normally play around about three of my strategies. If I, if I'm not, if things are not working to plan in the one strategy and I'm starting to go down, then I'll change over to another strategy. And same thing there, if it's not working out there, then I'll go to another strategy and I'll sort of alternate the three strategies. So maybe you should incorporate that in your play as well, you know, because the variance will actually dominate in one of the strategies and then you've had it okay and as I've said before I've never ever posted a strategy and saying that it's a holy grail and it's a long-term winner blah 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 no it doesn't happen in Baccarat okay it'll never ever happen in Baccarat you will always lose your bankroll or your buy-in if you don't watch it okay just keep that in mind just play conservative and know when to quit. That's the main thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we've got to wait for two singles because that's, that's where the strategy's name comes from. Two singles. So what we're doing is we're actually playing. Once a chop starts, we start playing it. And the theory behind this is that... Um, A single has to eventually change to a repeat. A single eventually have to become a repeat. Okay, and that's that's the theory behind the strategy. All right. So I'll show you how I do this. Okay. So there we've got two. So that's a, that's a no bet situation. So we've got to wait for two singles. Okay, which is a uh, two opposites, which is a chop. 
and then we play the chop for two hands. And if you lose, if you lose two in a row, then you change over to the chop and you play the chop once, only once. Okay, because normally the chop doesn't last longer than five five hands. Very rarely it'll go. It does go longer. It can go up to sixteen. I've had thirty in a in a row already, but on average, you're looking at maximum five. All right. So we bet two bets. If we lose that, then we change over to the chop. If we lose that, then we stop. And also, when you win the chop, then um, you um, oops. If you win the chop. Then what you do is you stop, okay? Because your next bet might be a loser. All right. Okay, so let's let's get going. Okay, see, so it's, it's a streak. So we're waiting. We're waiting for two singles. Okay. So uh, there, we've got a wait still, waiting for a banker. There's a banker, so now we've got to wait for one more before we can play. Okay, so now we're ready to play. So now we play. If we lose that, we play again, because it'll move over to a chop again. If we lose that, then we change to the chop. Okay, so we put one unit on player. And we win that. Okay, so now we've got to start all over again. Okay, so we won it. See, the logic behind this is that a single has to change eventually all right and that's the whole theory behind this the logic behind this very 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 simple okay we've got one need another one so now we still got to carry on playing okay until we get two singles we've got a streak there so we've got one there, so we need another one, we need the banker. No oh dear. We've got to have a bit of patience with the strategy. So we, we need a we need a player to come up. Now we've got a banker. So now we've got to wait again. <laughs> so we've got to wait now for a banker. goodness okay so now we get, we're waiting for a player before we bet we've got a player okay so there we got our two singles all right so we put one unit on player and there we go okay now me personally I'm gone that's me my session is over until the next session okay that's a rule I always follow. I'll we'll play a session later. It just depends on where I am and what session I'm in and if I want to play again or wait. Depends on what I'm doing. Okay. So now we got to wait for a banker. We'll carry on. We'll play we'll play the whole shoe. So we're waiting for a player now. Okay, so we put a unit on player, because that's, our, that's the one we want. And we win that. Okay, so now we've got to wait for a banker and a player. Got a banker, now we need a player before we bet. So we avoid all the runs, the streaks, you know. It takes a bit of patience. But um, if 
you want to be a winner, you've got to have lots of patience. We need a banker now to bet. And we've got one. So we put a unit on a banker, make sure. So there we go. So we bet. And we get it. Okay. So we keep going. So we're waiting for a banker now before we bet. Remember, always wait for two singles before you bet. So there we go. We bet on banker. I'm wanting to, to lose to show you what I do. So there we be lost. So when we lose, we put it on player. So we, we play two of these. If we lose, then we change over to the chop. Okay, so we play player. And we lose that. So now we go to two units according to the progression. And now you can see we've got four singles. So now we go, now we take one bet on the um, chop. Okay, the opposite. Okay, which will be a player. So we'll have two units on player. And we get that. And that's, that's it. So we go back down. We go to the, in this strategy, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. As you lose, you go up. And as you as you win, you come back down. So we go back down to the, the second one. So now we don't, what I do normally is, we've got one, two, three, four, five singles. And normally on average, that's where it stops. It could go on to 20 or 25, 30 or 16, but I feel it's, over my experience, I find it's best to just stop there. You've got your unit back, and let's just start all over again. Okay. You see what I mean? You would have lost that. Okay. So I'd rather play it safe. Look, it's very inviting. To go on a nice long run, you know, we, we see those long runs of uh, repeaters and chops, and we think, my goodness, imagine being on that. I would have made a fortune. But that's like a one-off thing. It doesn't happen all the time. It's very rare that that happens. So you need to understand that. Play safely, you know, conservatively. That's the whole theory of playing this game, back rate. You can't beat it. You've got you to use your head. You've got to use logic. And you'll come out. You'll come out on tops. I promise you. If you do that, don't be greedy. That's being greedy. You're chasing wins like that. You're just being greedy. Okay. And everybody, even myself, we've got that in us, and it's it's hard to it's hard to stop that. It really is. Okay. So we've got to wait now for a banker and then a player. See, it would be lovely to get onto that run, but don't take the chance. It just screws things up, I promise you. Okay, there we've got our banker. Stick to the formula. Any strategy that I give, stick to the formula. Don't change it around. That's when you invite trouble. Okay, you just got to have patience and discipline. Cut down on the greed, which is, it's a lovely to win all the time, but we can't. We've got, to, we've got to beat these guys, you know. I hate the casinos. Yeah, they rob people. Okay, there we go. Here's our, our trigger to bet on banker. So we put one on banker. Let's make sure. Okay. So tar, we just play it again. We lose that. So we go back up to two units now. And we bet that on player. Okay, we play one more. So we've got to lose twice before we go into the chop. Okay. 
So we put two units on player. And we lose that. So now we go up to the next two. And now we're going to play the chop. Now, when you've got four singles, then we change over to the chop. That's where we change. All right. So now we put two on player. And that's it. Just, just the ones. So, and we lose that. So we've got to go up to three units now. And we've got to wait for You see, it, it ended there on one, two, three, four. That's as far as it went. Okay. Most times it goes to five, but very rarely over that. So we've got to wait for a player, and then a banker. Still waiting for a player. Got it. Now we need a banker. And we're playing three units. And wait for a banker. Takes a bit of patience. We've got our banker. See? So we just wait for a player. You guys mustn't play a full shoe like I'm doing here. This is just for demonstration, okay? You get in early, you win early, and you get out. All right, you don't play a full shoe like this. The variance will eventually catch up to you. Okay, we've got to wait for a banker. I promise you, you can't be playing full shoes. But we'll see how this... How resilient the strategy is at the end of the shoe. And see how much we're down or how much we're up. Okay, we're waiting for a player. There we go. So we put three on player. Let's make sure. Okay, so let's go. And win that. So that's the end of the shoe. Okay, that's the end of the shoe, and we are $195. We got our two units, but we had our <clears throat> we had our, our two units very early in this in in the in the shoe, okay, where we should have pulled out. So you see why you need to pull out as soon as you get your play for one unit, even if you want to. Sometimes I do that, you know. Um, but tops, just go for two units, and play for four units a day and you'll be safe you know okay so let's see now what the other what we have okay now we wouldn't wouldn't be able to there's one more hand left in the shoe so we wouldn't be able to make a bet okay guys so what I'm going to do in the future is um in the next, say, the next six days, I'll use the same strategy, the two single bet selection uh, strategy, and I'll use the different money managements. So you, you can decide what money management you want to use. Maybe you've got your own little money management. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll start off tomorrow. I'll do another video on the same strategy. Um, what we'll do is, We'll do my flat bet, and then we'll do the full DL invert, maybe a, a seven-step DL invert, um, and then we'll do a maybe a eight-step uh, Fibonacci, and then we'll do the Oscars grind. We'll also do the Oscars grind. I'll do that after the flat bet, and then I'll do the DL invert and the Fibonacci. Um, and then we'll do John Patrick's, uh, quite like that one, the jo John Patrick's um, strategy. And we'll even do the Martingale, a seven-step Martingale, and, and test it on the strategy. And then we can look and see how we do. Okay, with the 
the delayed uh, the alum bird, which we've just used now. In a full, full shoe, we came out with two units profit, okay? So I think that's that's pretty good. So, But we would have got that right in the beginning. Okay, guys. So, okay, the next video I'll do is on the same strategy. Um, the two single bit selection strategy, and we'll use the my um, flat bit where uh, you know when we go we bet half that one I won't use a total um, flat bet I like to do that and then we'll take it from there each day I'll, I'll post one so you guys can look at them study the video and make up your own mind okay guys see you in the next video